uh, Novak Djokovic got disqualified for the US Open because he hit a ball and it happened to hit a ball woman in the throat and she just went down. Yeah. Like she was- She crumbled, yeah. Right? Right in the jugular. Because getting, I mean, getting hit in the jugular hurts, right? Like it's not yeah. a fun yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I yeah. saw like that woman received backlash and death threats online saying, and the and the Oscar goes to how dare oh. you, blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So if people are willing to say to an old, elderly woman who got hit in the throat, you're faking it, you know, man mm. up type of thing. There was probably probably just there was probably people at this club thinking that this guy should just get over it as well. Yeah, there's so much at play though for the for the woman as well. It's like a she was unknowingly hit in the throat. She didn't see it coming. Yeah. B yeah. the throat is actually a really sort of you're Sensitive highly spot. exposed. Yeah. And I think yeah. they tell you like in self defense is like punch for the throat. Like as far as to get someone atta- an attacker off you, you go for the throat because it's very like it's very oh, like, um, no, it's, the, 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 it's, the uh, throat is unprotected. is the balls of the upper body. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> exactly. Um, um, so, like, this this person, though, uh, as yeah. far as not wanting to answer calls and stuff like that, I feel like that's a reaction <laughs> that is bigger. Like, this has hurt him so much to a point where it's just like, my reputation is gone. I basically need to, like, leave town, change my name, which I think is a huge um, overreaction. And if anything, if you're being known at this club for being like the, you know, the king dick of everywhere. Um, maybe you should go find, maybe you should go find a different club. Maybe it's time for a new, I, a new ha- hangout. I feel like it's, it's just one of those ones where the reaction that you're treating it right now is worse than you crying on the floor, crumbling up and crying. I, I feel like right. you being like, I'm avoiding everybody. Everyone's going to be like, the more you put it off, the worse it's going to be. You go up, you face the music, and everyone goes, hey, you cried like a little, like you, you cried and because yeah. you got hit in the nuts. It's like you just own it and say, yeah, it hurts. I'll punch you in the nuts and see if you like it. Like it's a, I mean, like it's a case of like just own it in terms of like, all right, it happened, let's move on. And the quicker I feel like this guy moves on, the quicker it will be put behind him and he wouldn't even be thinking about it anymore. Or what you could or, do is. Yeah. He's he's on path on the path right now for a redemption arc. He should put a cup on, <laughs> return back to the club. <laughs> go to the, do you know how everyone lines up to get into the club, right? So yeah, he goes yeah, to the yeah. front of the line. And he says, "I demand everybody in this line to kick me in the balls." And then one by one, yeah. every person will walk up and kick him, and he just won't flinch at all. <laughs> and then slowly by slowly, as people enter the club, the word of mouth will spread. This guy has balls of steel. And yes. he somehow he's recovered. He is he is <laughs> a stronger man than he was before. <laughs> I would be worried that the rumor would be that my balls have been removed and since, like, I can't feel pain. Like, he was kicked in the balls so bad that they had to amputate his balls and now he's basically a eunuch. I'm just imagining him entering the club thinking to be triumphant and they're like, and the DJ just cuts the music and, like, and everybody welcome. Uh, be true, the ballless freak. And everyone just starts booing him as he walks into the club. Uh, Damien, I, I like this idea, but have you ever worn a cup and then been hit? Uh, yeah. Yes, I It'll did stick. karate, Marcus. Yeah, oh. did, they, they did you, are, cups are you karate, saying, I guess, yeah. I have been hit with a cup on, and it still hurts. So if I had 20 mm. people kicking in that region, I'm going to have a bruise around my crutch region. It's just like well, all the pressure's gone. That's true. Did you guys oh. um, have people, like I guess, in your high school that were like club promoters for a certain – place a club on a certain night um, that would often be like, come on, use use uh, Chris's guest list on uh, Friday and get a free drink on arrival. Yes. And look, I will say club promoters, I know the whole thing is like they obviously get commissioned for the amount of people they get through the door. But mm. they're also, I think <laughs> being a straight guy, I think being hounded by club promoters gave me a little window into <laughs> what it's probably like being a woman being hounded by <laughs> like annoying guys because they're always yeah, right, tagging right. you in posts and sending you invites to things and messaging you being like, Hey, what are you doing this weekend? You, you want to yeah. come to the club? <laughs> so in a way I kind of feel like this guy deserved to be kicked in the balls because yeah. I, feel, I feel like that kick was full of karma, right? That was like, you know, yeah. this is what you get. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'm just picturing every club promoter I ever knew, and I'm picturing that this is the these 
they're all sort of like combined into this one man. And you know what? That shoe that kicked him in the nuts did what I never could have done to all the club promoters that would <laughs> bug me. And I, I'm sort of like, I'm, I'm grateful for them. I like how we, we've made B2 a club promoter. He's not a club yeah. promoter. He was just an innocent. No, I don't know if he was innocent. He got into a fight. Maybe, maybe he was a club promoter. List. We don't know. Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's a sick Blade name. If you were to go to a club and be like, yeah, I'm on Blade Runner's list, I'd be like, fuck yeah. That's, fuck that's yeah. Bad. Yeah, that's, that's badass. All right. All right. Decades so, list. so what are we saying to this guy, Blade Runner? <sighs> I mean, what what does he want? What what is he asking? <laughs> yeah, how does he get over the embarrassment? Yeah, I think you just have to get over it, right? <laughs> yeah, like there's literally nothing you can do. Uh, at the end of the day, I think it's still a cheap shot. It's not like he was bested in fisticuffs. Yeah, he yeah. got he got sh- he he got yeah, kicked yeah. in the like the the shutdown button. Like nobody yeah, kill bounces switch. back from that. It was the kill switch, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. It wasn't a fair fight. It's just like if you got glassed in the back of the head with a bottle and knocked out, or, or king hit, or something like that. It's a cowardly thing to do. Um, so whether mm. he was a club promoter or not, I think it's it wasn't a fair fight. It's not <laughs> like you lost a bit of dignity for the fight. As far as the tears go, I don't think there's anything wrong with crying, bro. Just let 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 him flow. Let him flow, and then That's use it. that river let of him tears fly. and slide home, slide right home. <laughs> and look, I have to admit, if I happen to find myself in a club fight and I knew I wasn't going to win it, I am, I am, I'm club promoting my foot straight to that person's balls, like free entry. I am like, yeah. I'm going for the cheap shot. There, I am not gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna be a noble man and be like, this is a duel where we only use fists. I am, yeah, kicking that man straight in the balls. Damien's not going to accept. Damien's not going to accept no punch in the face. He's just like, I'm going to kick no. and run, kick That's and right. run, and scratch and scream and bite. Every everything <laughs> That's right. is like people, people <laughs> yeah. think it's cowardly, but like no, it's cowardly because Look, it's it's the right way to do things. Exactly. I had a friend once who I had this one friend who used to get into fights all the time, and it was one of the reasons why I stopped going out with him because I know I never wanted to be part of those fights. Um, yeah. he said uh, there was once a fight where he got cornered by like three people and, uh, he was by himself. So his way to counter that was he took off his top, took off his pants and started screaming like, <laughs> come on, let's do this. <laughs> like basically like I've got nothing to lose. And the dudes back to are like, okay, this guy is, he's a bit unhinged. Let's just not get involved with him. He's basically doing the lethal weapon, like Mel Gibson from lethal weapon. Like you think you're crazy and he starts slapping his face. <laughs> <Yes>. That's <laughs> Hey, and, and, and I, I say that's a great idea. I mean, if you're the craziest one in the room, you, you've got no limits. Uh, I'd be worried fight about that. Fight or flight, baby. Fight or flight. <laughs> it all it takes is those three guys to go, yeah, all right, and they just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, and true. not only he's is he on the floor, afraid. he's naked on the floor, and he's yeah. like, oh, man. <laughs> and steal his pants. <laughs> then, the, 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 <laughs> then the CEO of Abercrombie and Fish walks past and like, hey, you look great without a shirt off. <laughs> Let's get him at the front of the store. S- stand out the front, please. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, I think, um, I think I we're I'm I think happy with... Uh... Yeah, I think we've answered the question there for yeah. uh, Blade Runner. Um, Damien, yep. do you want to go next with this one? Uh, I would love to, and I mm. guess I am the sequel to Marcus, so I feel like I have to really bring it with this question too because that was a strong yeah. start from Marcus there. It's um, true. So my, the film that I think that is better than the original film uh, is the classic uh, sequel to The Fast and the Furious. It is Too Fast, Too Furious. I just oh. think it was really able to unpack the importance of being both fast and furious in a way that the first film didn't. <laughs> I just feel like it really expanded on that. I got to say also the title is just so much better, like including numbers in the in the title. So so smart. Two twos in the in the title. Oh, absolutely. And actually that was a joke. That is not the film that I'm going with. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I, I, I was gonna I was gonna say though, as as a mathem- mathematical mathematical minded person, that confuses the fuck out of me. Because two plus two equals four, guys. <laughs> is it the <laughs> twenty two? We don't know. Oh my god. Is it the twenty second film? Oh my god. Yeah. Do you have any idea? I know they've announced that in the newest film that's coming out they're going to space does it have a pun like what number is that um Uh, it would be like nine or eight cloud nine is it on cloud is it gonna be (laughs) deep deep space nine balls deep Deep space space nine nine. (laughs) could be could be yeah which vin diesel vin diesel flies to space and has sex with uranus (laughs) 
<laughs> but the thing is, they've right. actually cast Vin Diesel. No, Dom Toretto is now being played by Johnny Sins because he's the experienced <laughs> astronaut. <laughs> I was going to say maybe it's called Fast and the Furious dot dot light speed or something like that. Hey, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, no, it's not bad. Yeah. Take yeah. this man's shirt off and give, make him the, the lead promoter of the Fast and the Furious right <laughs> put now. Him, put him in the window. That's it. Yeah. Put him in the window. As good. That's it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> in six months' time when the film comes out, we're going to go to Hoyts and Mark is just going to be standing shirtless. <laughs> In, in the cinema foyer <laughs> with Fast and the Furious <laughs> light speed written on his chest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I can't I'd, wait. I'd watch it. All right, so my actual film is Lord of the Rings Two Towers. I Battle of okay. Helm's Deep, just a fantastic sequel. Yeah. All righty, so Two Towers writes in, I met my ex on a subway after six years and pretended to have amnesia, need help. <laughs> I know this sounds idiotic, but I was caught completely off guard and she is the only person I ever loved. She left me when we were 22 for the reason that I was basic, not cool enough, and didn't understand Twitter. I was in breakup blues for almost a year and had to change city and get a new job. It happened yesterday evening. I was on my way to a friend's place. I gazed up and out of nowhere, we locked eyes. It felt like all the bones in my body cracked at the same time. She was still as pretty as the first day I met her. She asked how I was doing and all I could say was, do we know each other? Are you serious? She said. I pointed to the scar on my forehead, which I got in an accident about two years ago and told her that I don't remember much things before the accident. She just stared at me for at least a minute. Then she introduced herself and asked if I want to catch a movie this weekend and gave her number. I said I'll call, but I'm not sure what kind of situation I've gotten myself into. Two towers. Oh, Holy moly. this this is this is a real predicament. I I personally like the amnesia play that this guy went with, and the reason why I reckon it was a good play is because she dumped you for the most bullshit of reasons. Mm-hmm. Like you don't know how mm-hmm. to use Twitter. That yeah. is a uh, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Right? Like did they say how long it was? Did, I, I I I don't know if I missed it. Like how long it's been between breakup and when he saw her again? It's been six. Six years. Okay, six wow. years. All right. So in six years' time, surely you've come to the realization like I'm better than her. Like she dumped me for a bullshit reason. Granted, you're, yeah. you're young, and people make mistakes when you're young, and I and I get that. But that amnesia trick was perfect. It's just like fuck you. I I, I don't remember you. I don't want to know you. <laughs> and I, I feel like that was a good burn that you did there. But that's where you got to leave it. You, you you can't you can't so you go back so on the second You don't think he goes on the date. <laughs> No, because because then that's when you're really Mister McGill McGooing the it, all right? Like that's when it's gonna come out. Like, no, I lied. I don't have an amnesia. I remember everything, and then that's when it blows up in your face. The problem is, yeah. I feel like um, something like that is a big lie to sort of say to say that you've had amnesia, and you could she could easily sort of investigate if that actually did happen, right? Like mm. you know, friends of friends might still be in touch with you. Um, they'll be able to like stalk through Facebook or whatever it was, and that she'd be able to. Like confirm that that was a lie. Would you rather be caught out in that lie, or would you? I'd rather almost just be like, you're better off handling it better and being truthful and just being, you know, maybe not engaging in her rather than pretending this and saying you've got amnesia, then being found out to be lying about having amnesia. Mm. I agree. However, but, if I may play mm-hmm. devil's avocado here, there is part <laughs> of me that thinks like he should go on the date and. <laughs> Only because, like, I would, I think it could be like, so what type, what type of person did I used to be, and why did we break up? Like, I think from that aspect, it would be interesting yeah. to see what his ex says because, like he said, the, he, after they broke up, he upended his whole life. Like he. Yeah. Left the city, he got a new job. So it's almost like, you know, I don't know. He, I'm sure he'd love to know the answers to those questions. That's true. This is, um, everything can be related back to movies. And this is reminding me of the romantic uh, modern classic, the movie called The Vow. I don't know if you boys have seen The Vow with Channing Tatum <laughs> and Rachel McAdams. I <laughs> mentioned that you I actually, blank faces. I, me and Marcus actually made a vow to never see that film. That <laughs> yeah, it the looked vow, horrible. Right? <laughs> Let's not it, watch it. it. Yeah. Basically, what it's about yeah, is that, us. Um, yeah. So Rachel McAdams and Channing Tatum are in love um, and they, you know, they're a couple. Uh, There's a car accident. Rachel McAdams loses her memory and doesn't (gasps) remember him. And she only remembers up to a certain part of her life when she was basically a young person, a different person. And so she's acting this way. So she was very like school orientated and and, um, 
I think she was like, a, not an elitist, but she was from a rich family. And the, you know, the person that Channing knew, she was like the free spirit artsy girl. And so she didn't, doesn't want to do her art anymore. She wants to do this. And he has to convince her that he, that she was married to him, that he loves her. So this is a, this is bringing me flashbacks and I, I might actually cry <laughs> a little bit because it's a, it's a pretty sad movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like we need to name the rom com between these two guys if things do work out. You, got, you guys got any That's titles true. off the top of your head? Um, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Something to do with I'm amnesia. Th- um, yeah, I, I'm thinking like like memory memory lane might be a, might yeah, be a good memory one. Memory lane, <laughs> Jesus Christ! They, and then they, I can see the reviews you, being you, like, "Memory lane is memory lame" <laughs> with like yes. an M instead. <laughs> or like, thanks, Roger memory, <laughs> memory lane dot 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 very forgettable. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so this, but I, I don't look, I'm not supporting the whole, that's too big of a lie that I could, you know, want to still, you know, so take part you of in, in a date. You don't date. think you should go on the date and be like, when she asks him, so what do you do for work? He's like, well, I'm actually the CEO of Twitter now. Just to see her reaction. 